brushing it, putting it back together. Well, we're checking it first. And then we're gonna put it back together inside of my truck because the engine I was going to be using that came out of musket ball. Yep, so we picked this one out of the uh, crap I collect on the side here. I have a few 5.3 blocks tarped over and the uh, another spare in the bed of the 57 that I'm toting around. So yeah, we'll get to pressure wash it. So we got the block washed. There's the junkyard writing still on it. Apparently it doesn't want to come off. Grace is over there watching, watching the oil pan a little bit. She's trying to get it to where if it doesn't have any leaks, we can tell. Just a Gen 3, 5.3, so dish piston. Gonna leave it the way it is and put some boost to it. So I'm gonna spray this thing up real quick with some black. All right, we got some color on the block real quick. I did that while Gracie was finishing cleaning out the oil pan. So at least it doesn't look like a junkyard dog at least. <laughs> we all know it is. It'll be fine. Richard Holdner made tons of boost on a stock Gen 3 bottom end, so. All right, we're gonna end up, uh, we're gonna pull rods two gap rings and just kind of check bearings while we're in there make sure this thing wasn't in the junkyard for a motor issue and then i have a extra high volume pump that we're probably going to throw on here just to be on the safe side so show you what it all looks like on the inside nice shirt oh yeah i know here hold on oh Brittany automotive yeah, yeah. so right now he's taking off the rods because I can't break them loose. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Leave your hand. Look at that. I know that guy. He's awesome. He sponsors me. If you need a turbo, force performance. <laughs> Marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is always the pain in the butt part when you have a small garage and not enough room to do stuff. So we wanted to figure out if the motor was worth anything. So we started disassembling it out here. But now that the ground's soaked, we're gonna push it with my old blue here. Oh no. Okay, hold on. All right, well, it didn't go exactly as planned. But it's out of the mud now, so. <laughs> we're gonna try to, um, get it in there so I'm gonna help him really quick and we'll be back so Gracie's pulling apart the rod and piston combo I got a really cool mobile workbench here 57 Ford if you haven't seen this on this channel anyway sorry got distracted everything's looking pretty good I so, my hands so I can, like, <laughs> she's slamming slamming cylinders out Getting everything lined up. We're gonna get everything cleaned up, checked. But all in all, it's looking pretty good for a junkyard motor. Yes, I know there's water in there. Yes, it will be dry by the time we put it away for the night. And if it isn't, don't judge us. I literally pulled this out from over there. It didn't even have heads on it. So it's been raining like crazy here in Colorado. Yeah, we had like, what was it, two weeks of like nonstop raining? Yeah. So like it never stopped, it just slowed down. You know, so we've been delayed putting out videos, as always. We had some family things going on, and then weather and school for Gracie. Finals week. <laughs> Finals week. So we will get the rest of this torn apart and show you the results, and we'll probably call it there for a night and do some cleanup and drying of the block. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. All right, everybody, it is the next day. We forgot to do an outro, so this is the outro for yesterday's video. And uh, we're out here working on the engine again, so that'll be tomorrow's video. 
Oh yeah, and a little explanation for the picture. If you're coming from Facebook, the picture that we had, um, the engine was on the cherry picker, and I forgot what we were doing, but... We were turning over the oh, yeah. crank and yeah, we were turning over the crank and a bunch of oil and oil WD-40. And WD-40 all got in my eye at once. It was very spicy. I don't recommend it. So <laughs> that's explaining that picture. So. As always, please like and subscribe. Thanks to the sponsors. We got one of them right here. Uh, performance. Jake's performance. We're gonna go over that here soon. Yeah, that's Ford's performance up there. We got a uh, Jake's performance transmission that we're gonna go over. That'll be a separate video uh, by itself. It's a pretty cool little one-off piece that he provided for us. And it's uh, awesome. It is. You should watch it. If you don't, you're missing out, man. And uh, Brian Tooley, ICT. Uh, God, I'm horrible with this. Ford performance. Uh, anyway, Five Star Roofing. Clean. And if we missed you, I'm sorry, we'll get you on the next one. We're tired and we're going to get back in here to get this motor done. So, see you next time.